Microoptic uh, is really the uh, heart of the optophone system. It has the most number of components and accessories. Uh, that's why um, I think it will be um, essential to give the design purpose of optophone for this section. Microoptic uh, is derived from the elector set concept. And the elector set is basically deals with form. I have an elector set here. And I can, by looking at this, I can tell why it has taken me so many years to develop uh, the optophone system. Basically, it has a user's manual. And this is what has taken me so many years to develop. Um, and also, the pattern I see in the elector set, I see uh, lots of uh, lots of holes and basically lots of um, plates with holes in it to allow angular adjustment, to allow uh, shift, to allow um, basically lots of bolts and screws. And I find elector actually is a um, very complicated system. I mean, a kid in that age uh, would probably find this most challenging. Well, we have grown up and we need same challenge. If you want to be a good optomechanical designer, um, get some very high quality optical instruments in your work area and look at it every day and learn and see uh, how you can um, come up with these ideas. In our user's manual, I have uh, a basically discussed uh, the rifle scope design and I have pointed out that this is one of the most beautiful optomechanical designs that has ever been done uh, because of its simplicity, because of its form, because it basically follows the contour of the inner elements and its functionality basically X and Y adjustment here is beautiful, it's fantastically designed. Um, another thing I can pick from here, uh, a Leica. Uh, I'm working on a book on Leica actually, uh, design. Um, Leica, if you look at the design, the, the way they have designed this, it's, um, it's amazing. I mean, when you look at the Leica, when the, you look at the optomechanics of this, um, I don't want to get away from the discussion we had, but I think this is important to, to have these things in mind. Um, there is a Hasselblad design, which I absolutely love. Um, there is a, you know, the way they have done the optomechanics for this, it's fabulous. Uh, I have it here a, an autocollimator, which is basically a um, very doable design. Uh, I have in here a microscope viewfinder by Olympus. This is this uses relay optics to basically it takes the light coming from um, the microscope turret to the objective. Uh, the basically this is camera with the top here, and it has adjustment. Um, the last thing I want to show you just briefly here is the Ariflex design, which I really admire. Um, the eye reflex, basically, you know, I worked on the Hubble Space Telescope. And what this shows here, I mean, there is a huge uh, magazine here and the body, and the way these things fit together. Um, knowing this, I still was amazed uh, how the Whitefield planetary, uh, planetary camera was um, installable in, into the Hubble and made interchangeable. And these are the concepts, these are the basic concepts, the viewfinder here, that there's a rotating mechanism here, so anywhere the, uh, the viewfinder is positioned, the image is always erect. And all of these concepts, all of these concepts, had a role in creating the optophone, because I wanted to, to be able to do all these things. Um, so having all this challenge, uh, I mean, you need really an erector set system to be able to do this. Um, for example, um, Basically, to, to build something like this, uh, I will discuss um, this later in the Micromax section. Uh, this was this you can build with off-the-shelf optophone. 
and uh, looking very similar uh, to this design. Um, the rest um, would be a combination. Having these in mind, um, when you have angles, when you want to do angles, you need you need like a similar concept, a plate with holes, so you can position um, with a corner connector and mirror holder um, and an illumination capability. All of these components that be able to uh, come in at oblique angles and a linear bearing concept. Linear bearing basically allows very fine positioning uh, adjustment of, um, of the optical uh, piece. What I will do, I will individually use these uh, instruments that have been built. Basically, very quickly, like I said, there's a focusing uh, system here, there's a telescope here, there's an interferometer over here, there is a uh, autocollimator here, there's a lamia telescope, there's a microscope, and there's a spectroscope here. I don't know if that can be just show you here and there is a binocular head which I just discussed over there is also built with Optoform. So Optoform, uh, the way it was designed, it had all these instrument, in, instruments in mind uh, to be able to, um, to make these and details are important. Uh, so basically before I get into these, um, learn this skill of combining the arts, which is the uh, packaging of your optics, is the form uh, that you are making with the setup that you do. Uh, have a habit of otherwise uh, really good designs, innovative designs, really don't happen. You need to have several skills at the same time in order to really create something uh, creative. Uh, I remember I had a, um, I had a talk at a, uh, a conference, microscopy conference, uh, about an alignment system that I had invented uh, for the atomic force microscope. And only two people showed up. And uh, I began my talk uh, by saying that I come to a lot of these shows and I see rarely the innovation. One of them got up and left. So basically that uh, shows uh, how it's true. I mean, people, uh, very few people really invent things um, uh, we lack inventions and because we don't play, we don't have the ability to play. And basically Optoform uh, gives you uh, that ability. So now I will uh, basically discuss each one of these, use them and show you that Optoform is really intended to be invisible, to be following the contour of the optics and be invisible, be out of the way and be seen less and less and less and at the same time allow you to uh, mount these uh, optical components at any angle or any uh, direction uh, you need to to be able to do shift to do um, positioning very accurate position using linear bearings um, and all those things.